What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Cold Creek. A lot of you guys love to ask me, Dr. Goo, where are you filming today? Well, today I am at Cold Creek. It's about a 40 minute drive from the Las Vegas area. There's a little prison down the road. There's a little creek and a little pond. And I'll show you guys that uh, periodically, either through the video, throughout the video, or at the end of the video, okay? So this is the fragrance that I want to talk to you guys today about. It ha uh, has been around since 1968, guys. It's a classic. Uh, a lot of people love it, like Ben at That Cologne Guy, uh, Daniel Sin, if you guys don't know uh, his channel, I'll probably link it down below. He's a cool dude. And uh, I, I picked this up because I saw it at Target for $8, and I said, you know what, why not? You know, I'm on this kind of aftershave cologne binge lately, and I've just been enjoying kind of like these classic masculine, modern-ish fragrances uh, for men. You know, I, I love smelling like a man, guys, because uh, I'm a man. All right, and today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about Brut uh, Signature Scent, okay? Now, uh, Brut was released in 1967, guys, by Fabergé, okay? I've never smelled the original Fabergé. The original one, if you guys don't know, has the little medallion on it. Uh, I think the neck is a lot slimmer, and the bottle is uh, not as fat as this, uh, but I could be wrong. I'll throw a picture up for everybody who doesn't know what the original Fabergé version looks like. Um, but it was bought out by Unilever in 1992. So all the current brutes, guys, including the aftershave, which I also have here today, that I'm gonna to touch on a little bit, is made by uh, Unilever, okay? So let's just go ahead and spread this on and I will talk to you guys about what it smells like. I'll throw the notes up, you know, off to the side like I normally do. And uh, yeah, let's talk about it, guys. If you hear any planes, there's a lot of jet activity. Uh, I believe the military, they, they run drills and stuff out here. And, you know, I didn't really know that. I'm not up here too often, so I, you know, so I apologize for the, for the plane noise. But, guys, I will say I absolutely love the opening of Brute. I love it. It smells very clean. Uh, there's a lot of lavender in here. Just a touch of sweetness which is something else we're gonna talk about because that's one of my issues with this fragrance is the sweetness. But there's just a touch of sweetness. It, there's a lot of lavender. The lavender is very creamy. And uh, it just smells very nice. It just smells very nice and clean and masculine. It, it almost reminds me of like a, uh, a very piney shaving cream, uh, but not necessarily like pine resin, but just kind of piney with some, some woody touches. Okay, so like in the top right, you're gonna have anise, lavender, bergamot, basil, and lemon. Okay, I get a lot of lavender. I, I you know, I, I, I get a little bit of the, the basil and a little bit of the anise. Uh, I cook a lot with anise, especially when making desserts. So anise is a very, um, it, it can kind of come off as licorice a little bit, but here it just like adds a nice little spice along with the basil. Okay, now um, what you get when you first spray this on is pretty much what you're gonna get uh, throughout the entire life of this of, of Brut. All right, Brut doesn't really change a lot to my nose, but it does do this one major change, which I'm not really happy about, which I don't really feel like should be here. Right, so you got the top right. So in the mid, you're gonna have geranium, jasmine, and a lang lang. Uh, the geranium adds this green facet to this fragrance which I love uh, I love that I don't get any lang lang and I don't get any jasmine which is good because I'm not really a fan of jasmine or lang lang now the base is where this thing I don't really like it to be honest because in the base you're gonna have oak moss patchouli vetiver tonka bean sandalwood and vanilla and you think you're like well dr. goo you love oak moss you love patchouli and you love vetiver. So what is the problem? Well, the problem is the tonka bean and the vanilla, guys. Um, the tonka bean and the vanilla in Brut, okay, it is way too overpowering. It just overpowers this fragrance uh, when it gets into the dry down. And it doesn't even smell very good. Uh, it's just very, it's, it's got like the sickly, sweet, stuffy, very musty uh, smell. All right, and now you're thinking, if you're a fan of Brute and you just can't hear nothing negative about it, you're like, whoa, Dr. Goo, it, 
the mustiness must be from you. There, there, there ain't no way. There is a way. All right, there is a way. All right, I'm thinking it's, <laughs> honestly, guys, I'm thinking it's the fuck, I'm thinking it's the tonka bean or the vanilla. All right, it's just, it's not, it's just, it's just grody. All right, now, the oak moss and the patchouli, um, I could barely detect it, unfortunately. The vetiver and the sandalwood, though, on the other hand, I think adds a nice woody touch to this and it makes it even more creamier. And when you have creaminess and you have this nasty tonka bean and vanilla combo, it just smells weird. Uh, and so I just think it smells weird. That's why I never wear this as a standalone. Like I'll wear aqua velva musk as a standalone fragrance or I'll wear uh, Pinard Clubman as a standalone fragrance, uh, but I will never wear this as a standalone. I always have to uh, layer this. And I will say that the layer combination that I'm about to tell you smells absolutely amazing. And if any of you guys also do think that this smells a little weird and sickly sweet and a little BO-ish kind of just musty smell, uh, if you layer it with the fragrance I'm about to mention, you will not smell that. All right, so if any of you guys are familiar with the house of uh, Nikolai, perfumer creator, I have picked up a 30 and a 100 ml bottle of New York Intense by the house of Nikolai, uh, creator perfumer. And I gotta say guys, when you layer those two together with Brut, or when you, when you layer New York Intense with Brut, it smells absolutely amazing. Now I would have the bottle out here, but uh, that's a very expensive bottle and I'm not trying to heat it up to almost 100 degrees all right while I'm out here filming uh, So let's talk about the performance on on Brute signature scent, all right? So Brute has it says it says for men of character long-lasting Signature scent and if you don't believe me, you can just look right there. That's what it says, right? Well, I will say that it is not long-lasting at all. Uh, maybe two hours maybe two hours and that last I want to say 45 minutes of Brute Signature scent is where you're going to get that nasty, kind of sickly sweet musty smell, which I don't like at all. So I'm actually happy that it doesn't last that long. Now I've heard of the older formulations where it used to just blow people out the water and it used to last like all day long. Uh, guys, the current stuff doesn't and uh, my skin doesn't drink fragrances like that. And plus I always moisturize and I have a good skincare routine, so never, fragrances last quite a while on me, so I'm, I'm glad Brute doesn't last that long with, on me. Now, I do want to talk about another Brute fragrance. Now, this is the splash on, or this is the aftershave. Okay, now I picked this up at uh, TJ Maxx for like $8, right? And I saw it in there, and I thought it was the EDT spray, and then when I got home and I opened up the cap, I was stupid, I didn't look in the bottle you don't see a little little thing in there where where you know where it where it angles down um and i was like oh man it's another splash on but i was surprised pleasantly surprised that this one actually smells guys a lot better than the original you know brute signature scent okay the splash on or the aftershave i keep getting these confused the aftershave smells way better Guys, and it's not as heavy. It's not as sweet. Uh, really, it's not sweet at all. And we're actually gonna put a little bit on my hands here. So we're talking about the aftershave now. I like the color of the juice, it's green. This one to me, the aftershave, it is fresher. You get more of the spices and you get more of the citrus in here, okay? You still get the lavender, you know, there, there is more emphasis on citruses here. It is a little bit more astringent, uh, which I also like. Um, and it just, it just smells better. And, and like in the dry down with the aftershave, guys, now I know this is an aftershave, so you're supposed to use this when you shave, but like I previously mentioned in one of my videos, guys, I, I don't ever shave. So it's like, you know, I use the aftershaves as colognes, whatever, you know, I'm using this before I go to sleep anyway but I do prefer this one. So if you guys find this in the store, grab this one instead of this one. Um, instead of the signature scent, just grab the aftershave, honestly, or pick up the EDT spray, because I assume that they smell identical. Um, but I just want to mention this 
one. I, I do prefer this this version over the uh, signature scent version. All right. So guys, uh, that is my full review on Brute signature scent, guys. The Splash On. All right. Now this is a pretty big bottle, so obviously you know I've used quite a bit of it. And this might have sounded like a negative review, but I, I, I really do enjoy it, the opening. Once it gets into the dry down, guys, I really I really don't care for it. But like I said before, I always layer this with like New York Intense anyway, so I can't even smell the dry down when it gets there. So uh, I hope you guys like that review of uh, Brute Signature Scent. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know, leave them down in the comment section below. I love to reply to comments I, I love that and uh you know i'm almost at 1k subs i'm so happy and uh, i appreciate all you guys for showing me support you know liking my videos and, and whatnot i do appreciate it and uh, remember you can do anything that you put your mind to stay safe out there thank you so much for watching the channel lock since i'm your host dr goo i'll catch you guys in another one of my videos all right all right see ya bye